Well, that's it. So, Pablo, are you ready to present, with, to, to do your speaking? Yes, teacher. So, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, that's it, Pablo. I am going to make it bigger. So, can you please tell me? What about this one? Okay. Favor. And favor is basically uh, when sun has a high temperature than normal. Uh, and it looks very affected by the virus crown because mm, they do not allow them to market or be on any so because they confuse confuse them with COVID and it's very I don't know, complicated. Okay, it's really hard actually. Let's continue. Ready, Pablo? Yes. Okay, we are going to jump flu because we know it. Let's talk about cancer. What can you tell me about it? Okay, cancer is basically a cell that destroys the body and until it is killed. And it is a beginner difficult to treat it if you to the current uh, situation. Okay, and this is a common uh, disease of humanity, baby. Do you think that a lot of people has cancer? Yes. And baby, do you think that this is affected by the arrival of the coronavirus or not really? Yes, uh, it's affected because uh, it's very complicated the 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 treat the treatment. Yes, the treatment. Okay, let's continue then. What about diabetes? And diabetes, uh, basically, basically, it is a, basically, it is a disease. This is uh, that is caused in by excess blood sugar. Oh, it's a low level of uh, a high yes. level of sugar in blood. Yes, uh, sugar in in blood, and it is a uh, also very difficult to treat. Uh, by coronavirus and hospitals today. Okay. What about the schizophrenia? What can you tell me about it? Schizophrenia, it is a mental disorder. Uh, basically, makes them have very low. So, and the COVID affected affect them uh, side. They have to be constant contact with people and due to the current situation they mm -hmm. and is this affected by the coronavirus maybe? Yes. Why? Uh, because uh, uh, they, well, they have to be in contact with the people because uh, your situation is very confusing, very hard. So it's important to be in contact with someone else in order to avoid the schizophrenia, right? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Pneumonia, this is really important actually. What can you tell me about it? Uh, pneumonia, it is an infection uh, that inflames uh, the lungs and fills them with flumes and it uh, has been very confused with the coronavirus uh, since the dense people tend to cope a lot. Okay. Rhinitis, what can you tell me about it? Rhinitis, uh, it is a dense, dense that generate irritation in the nose and inflammation yes 
information may uh, generate a lot of fear in people since it is uh, also uh, very confused confused with the code. Okay. Bronchitis. Bronchitis it is a, a dance that basically makes uh, the loops and make it difficult to rate and then say like COVID are very dangerous of them. Both so a people say, with bronchitis can die due to coronavirus maybe? It's very dangerous for them. So do you think that the people with this disease can die due to the coronavirus? Um, it's possible. It's possible, okay. What about malaria? Uh, malaria, it is a dance that is normally uh, transmitted by animals and it is a uh, meme tones are fiber and fever. Fever and things and it is a uh, big uh, very difficult to there uh, to trap uh, to, to, to trap it to treat. Uh, it to to the current situation in hospitals. So it is affected of uh, due to coronavirus because people can't go to the, to hospitals. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Just because of that. Okay. What about this one? Grain. The grain. Uh, it is a very safe uh, headset. Headache. Has increased lazy to do not be being able to able to is to uh, live and the house and uh, no be uh, not being not being able to work able to work okay so do you think that this fact with these huge uh, headaches have been affected by the coronavirus or not really yes uh, because uh, mm, uh, uh, your board uh, uh, Oh, I don't understand really good that last idea, but let's continue. Okay, that's it. It was the last one. Okay, Pablo, I like the presentation. I guess you were able to include like uh, the explanation with the symptoms, with the way that uh, this is like affected by coronavirus. Uh, but we have to improve a lot, you know. Um, the speaking part, we are going to keep working on that, so uh, by today you are going to have um, 8.6, okay baby? Okay, but you have to be ready to, uh, to improve your speaking part. I guess that you have improved, but you should be able to do it without extra time. If I request you to talk, you have to talk. Not to take some time to be ready, okay? So let's continue then with David. Are you ready, David? Uh, so, okay, let's do it anyway because I know that you can do it, okay? Go ahead, begin. Is this... Okay, you create, let me check it. Oh, okay. This is like the, the first part, the introduction or something like that? Wait, 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 that I don't move the television. Okay. My no I think that it is at the at the beginning that are the the only thing that I do at I think that is so shifty and I do work. Um, so, uh, go ahead, attack. Let me know about it. Do you want me to click on next or not? No, no, no. I. This is like a, a resume. A summary. 
a summary of the the illness, uh, but at the at the final part I explain like five of them and more specifically uh, uh, I do diabetes okay. diabetes see you uh, um, because a lot of people have it because it's generating by eating a lot of candies or things like sugar. Okay. And yes, and the the diabetes can make you lose your sensibility part. And yes. Okay, continue. Um, come on. Uh, I think that this doesn't really relationate with the COVID. So it's not um, affected at all the by next, COVID? The com uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, continue. Uh, the common cold is like when you have a sneeze or how do you say mocos? <laughs> how did you say that, David? You know it. I, I don't know. But you say mocos. it once in class. No. One day that you were trying to explain me that you were a bit sick. You say the word. No, no, me acuerdo. I don't remember, but uh, it's <laughs> my knees and maybe... It's not. It's not, baby. It's not, yes. <laughs> um, yes, you see, you can have it because one people can pass to you or out the, the freeze or things like that. And it's very relationated with the, with the coronavirus because one of the symptoms of the coronavirus is the, the common cold, but a cold, no a common cold, but yes, is the relation. Uh, second, okay. I put the cancer because I read that one of three people at uh, advanced age are very able to, to contract it. Okay. And maybe it's relationate because with the cancer and the the chemo and things like that, you your defense can be uh, more or less, and the virus don't take advantage or take advantage. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, dental cavities. Uh, it is like the caries because. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, in an article that I read says that like five of ten people can have it and some of them until he wash your teeth her teeth uh, teeth is on not teeth her okay. teeth uh, can have it and it's not in relation with the COVID. Uh, anxiety. Anxiety. Uh, is when yeah you feel you feel uh, pues is a mental illness and it's relationated with the COVID because I don't know you uh, in, when you stay at home you feel like uh, anxious and and what, what, anxious uh, that anxious and yes that is the relation uh, uh, next I put hepatitis. Are, are a lot of hepatitis, but I related more to the hepatitis B that is, B, that is uh, transmitted by like sexual uh, sexual transmission. Sexual. Be careful yes, with the I way do. that you wrote transmission in that part. Okay, and um, yes, yeah, is is very bad, but. Uh, it have a, a cool, but but the people don't don't have mind to use condonal. Yes, and I think that is related because uh, it it put less the defense like the cancer. So, do you think uh, that this has been affected by coronavirus? In a good way, in a bad yes, way. Like, Why? Yes, because. Uh, a lot of, of illness uh, are related because they they put less your defense and okay. is more more than the defense of your body. They are are less. 
Okay. Um, next, I put SIDA. I don't think that is so common like the hepatitis or other transmission uh, illness. But yes, I put it that the the uh, is very very more more mortal like the uh, than the hepatitis because it it put uh, a lot of less your defense. So, so it gets okay. Your defenses are in low levels. Yes. Okay. Do you have the uh, the arrival of coronavirus affect this? Mm, yeah, I think that a, a, a person that have SIDA are more susceptible to to die if he contract coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, I put anorexia because in that article that I read, it says I I don't know that is the real real. A uh, uh, peak, tip. I don't know uh, that we are that. The real, okay. But, but it's, it's really common the, the anorexia in, more in the in the women because a lot of women feel feel like like fat and they they are dozen they dozen and it's they don't. That like four like four of ten women in one moment of her life feel like that, like she she are so fat and they stop to eat what she needs. Okay. Uh what about Alzheimer? What can you tell me about it? Uh, well it's a, a mental uh, illness because it's uh, it's a generation illness because he uh, it makes you lose the memory and with the time is more generating you are losing more of the of your of your <laughs> of your recuerdos memories um, yes of your memories and it can be prevent with doing it don't have a, a cool but you can prevent it playing like chess and things like uh, reinforce your mind. Okay, and uh, do you think that coronavirus or the quarantine is affecting this or not really? No. Not at all. What about dinghy? Okay, we are going to jump dinghy because we have listened a lot of, a lot of dinghy. Okay. Uh, I guess that is the same. Okay, what about this one? This is where you explain some of them, right? Yes, but that is for, for internet and it's more specific that since that I don't say no uh, until I read that, but like I fun think facts. that I have to, to explain it more. Okay, these are like fun facts that you found on net, yeah? Online. It's like the the, the cause, the symptoms. Mm, okay, so and really. this part is the the page where you took the information? Uh, yeah, the link is in black. Okay. So come on, cold. Well, well, baby, I am going to talk. I like the way. I guess that you have improved too a lot in your speaking because now you talk more than you talk when I met you. You know, but you have to still work in with your presentations because uh, I mean, if you if I open a presentation and the first thing that I can see is this, it is going to be like, oh my god, what is this? So you don't have like a title. You don't have like an introduction, a cover page to make it like more attractive. So you have to work a bit on that, and I'm sure that you know it. Uh, maybe this part, for example, if you begin your presentation with a slide like this one with top ten of most common diseases, it will be better because it is clear. Yes. So the space is uh, is better, is organized. So you have to still working on that because the presentation is disorganized and you had time actually you had time on class to do it so that's my suggestion uh, you don't have like images or something like that and you can do it uh, much better because I know you and I know that you can do it better that's like my only suggestion of course in terms of English in terms of grammar you have to be careful with some, with the pronunciation of some words you have to be careful with mistakes like like person are instead of person is Something like that. 
So today you have a point three in this uh, workshop, okay, David? Did you have questions? Yeah, no, thank you. So give me one second while I write your grade. So Harold, please be ready to participate. I am yeah. going to to check the chat because I guess that I listened that someone wrote something. But just let me take a look before you begin, okay, Harold? Let me let me take a look on it. Okay, it was Pipe. Yes, Pipe. Calera's connection today is awful. I don't know why. Uh, let's go with Harold then. Okay, Harold, go ahead, baby. I like this one. Okay. Go, you can begin. Uh, I think the top 10 diseases confirmed by with COVID, the first is flu. I write the, the causes and the affections in the organism. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> uh, I explain the transmission of the flu is in the air and saliva. <laughs> contact. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so with contact of what? Uh, with hands. Um, things are touched with the people with flu. Okay, so as we have talked a lot of flu, we are going to continue with the next one and you are going to explain it. Yes, the, so the cold. I have a question. I'm what is the difference between flu and cold? <laughs> they call him um, I write the symptoms in the difference is the the call do the low give to you low fever and oh uh, and you have more congestion in your nasal process how did you say that? <laughs> you almost have it. Nasal algo. Nasal algo? Um, Not really. Okay, okay, okay. It's no thrills. Say it with me. No thrills. No thrills? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and this. Uh, I write. I wrote. I, I wrote, yes. Do I know this? The code wants to be uh, confused with coding. Why not? Um, Tell me. Explain it to me. The code. Um, we find a code. What do you want to say? Hmm. Teacher, how do you say? I can help you. Teacher, how do you say? Es que no sé mi cuál es español. No vive en español. Te genera. What do you want to say? Just that word. No te te genera una. It cause. It can cause. Y se vaya a estar heavy. It's not heavy. You did it. I mean, you just have to let me know why. Called it can be it can be confused with coronavirus. The cold. So you have something specific here. For example, the time. You can talk to me about the time. It can cast. You can cast. So if you want to say eso te genera frío, you can say that can cast cold. Something like that. That can cast cat. Bueno, ¿cómo se diga? Eh, congestión and... Um, you got it, I just told you. I just told eh, David. It's not. It's not. It's not. The engineer is not. Bueno, uh -huh. Not and um, the COVID doesn't generate to you that. And the next. <laughs> next. Fever. Eh, the, the fever. Eh, the symptom. Symptoms of the fever are headache, muscle pains, 
eh, Lost of Appetit, de hidratación. De hidratación. Be hydration, uh, but it's like be careful with the writing. Um, this this point are difficult to different with COVID because the the COVID uh, generate to you a um, a fever, and the fever is is one of the symptoms of the COVID. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Stress. Uh, the, the stress are the most common. Uh, disease. The most common disease in this quarantine. Mm -hmm. um, the people who are encerrado in. Who is locked? Who is locked? In the houses are being stressed because they work and all the things were happening in in the street and this. Okay. Next. Stomach ache. Yeah. Stomach ache. Uh, it is the most common disease, I think. The symptoms are sickness in the abdomen. And the causes are um, bad food or the organism recharge that food and doing bad things in your organism. Uh, the irritation and inflammation. Um, when um, organism in your body is inflamed or irritated, is so um, is pain? Yes, pain. Is painful? Well, it's, yes, painful. Okay. Let's continue. Do you think that this has been affected by the coronavirus or not really? Mm, I think no. Because really. the bad food in your organism are in the houses and in the street are the same. And what happened right now that you have like a lot of people at home eating the entire day, a lot of things? Do you think that maybe this can, this, like this, this is can increase? Can you repeat? Please? Yes. And what happened with all the people that is at home eating the entire day, a lot of things? Uh, mm. Do you think that maybe? They are going to have more stomach ache than they have before? Yes, because um, some people are eat bad, no, what you say, fast food? Yeah, like junk like, food, comida chatarra, junk food. Yes, junk food. Okay, let's continue then. Depression uh, and bipolar disorder, tell me. Um, the people are in quarantine are, um, well, some people are affected by the depression. He feels alone because they can go with, go to the street and talk with friends. And the the oh. streets take part of the depression. Okay, let's continue. Oh, very in one. So I asthma, we talk about mm -hmm. asthma and allergies. So tell me something about anorexia because we haven't touched it that much. Talk to me about anorexia. Yes, yes I realize that it's in Spanish. So that's the reason why you are going to tell me that in English. Some people uh, have the necessity to, to see like a model with to look no like city and, and these things. So what happened with this? What? <clears throat> sorry. What do people do? Um, in the houses, the food are are consistent. The food is what, baby? Consistent. Less. Eh, consistent. How do you say? How do you say menos, Nothing. teacher? You can say it less. 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 The um, 
the food in the houses are less natural um, and <laughs> and this food the people who have anorexia think that it is bad and they want no they want no and they think that this food are going to uh, is it peso of the height I think okay have more weight um, yes. so they don't eat Mm -hmm. Okay, do you think that the arrival of coronavirus is increasing this? Mm, yes. Why? Uh, as I was saying, mm -hmm. uh, the food in the house are less healthy and the people have the necessity to eat healthy food. And if they if they people so then But that is like opposite to anorexia because yeah, they can have a uh -huh. lot of food but they are not eating actually, not even if it's healthy food. But, uh, they have the necessity to to eat only healthy food and when he eat other food they they vomit. They threw out. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is it, baby. Or do you want to add something else? No. I think nope. I do like a shit. <laughs> People dress up the food, yes. Okay. Uh I love your I mean Accepting this, that is, that is in Spanish, I guess that you did a really beautiful presentation. I like the way that you created these slides and all the these things with Mario. I really like it. Uh, you were able to talk to me about it. You have some things with pronunciation, with grammar as everyone. We have to keep working on that, but it was really nice. And I just I am just going to suggest uh, that you have to be a bit, a bit, a bit more focused on this because sometimes your your attention was like in another place but it was a good job baby so for today you have 9.5 okay and Sarita please be ready to begin Sarita are you there? Okay. yes yes okay so give me one second while I check the chat because I don't know. Mm, what are you writing in the chat if you are in class? Okay. But it was okay, baby. Don't worry. Be careful with the chat and be careful with English especially. Okay? But it was a good job, Harold. So, 9.5. It's okay. Sarita, I am going to open which one? This one or the link? Uh, the link. The link? Okay. So baby, go ahead, attack. Mm, well, I did the presentation about the well the top ten most common diseases, and in the other slides, I talk about the diseases. The first one is hepatitis. It has two types, like A and B. Uh, it is a virus, and it affects the li the liver. And um, well, I think that the it well it it isn't affected by by the coronavirus because people don't think that you have it because it has other symptoms, okay. and it, the only thing that could affect it is is the way that you go mm -hmm. to the hospital to get your medicine and all that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the cold is an infection that makes you sneeze. Uh, well, it sometimes it makes it makes you have a headache, and 
it includes a watering a watery nose. And I think that this is very affected by coronavirus because people think that you have coronavirus and get away from you because they think that you have the virus. Okay. And diarrhea. Uh, it makes you move into a liquid state, but I think that it doesn't affect uh, uh, this this disease because usually when you have this, you stay home or take some medicine. But in now that we are in quarantine, we stay home and take care of us. I love the explanation of liquid state. It was really polite. Okay, let's continue. Well, STDs are, as the name says it, are sexual transmission diseases. I think that uh, these diseases have uh, decreased because like no one can go outside and nothing happens. Everybody stays at home and it is very safety. Okay. Depression. We are going to jump this one because we have enough okay. information about it. Uh, as well as autism. What about the schizophrenia? I want you to tell me something about it. Uh, well, uh, some of the uh, houses that schizophrenia gives you are like illusions, catatonia, and lack of hygiene. And well, I think that people that have this disorder um, well aren't very aren't feeling very good because they uh, sometimes well one recommendation for the people that have this is to go outside and do like sports. But now that they can go outside, they like uh, have more illusions and attacks or something. Okay. Rhinitis. When I was little, I had rhinitis, and I don't know if I actually have, I still have, but uh, well, it is uh, a disease that when you touch or smell something that uh, makes you makes you feel bad, uh, you start to sneeze a lot, and your um, uh, uh, how would you say that? Well, the reaction is the same like when you have an allergy. Well, I think the same like with the cold that people confuse this with the coronavirus and no more. Okay. Migraine. Well, my brother has migraine, so I decided to make this because I've also seen a lot of people with this disease. Well, it causes headaches and other symptoms like nausea or or like uh, sensitivity to the light or to the sound. No, okay. Wait. Okay. Can I continue, baby? Yes, it's my sister. She's talking to her no, teacher. No, don't worry. Well, it's okay. Uh, diabetes. It is uh, is caused when the the glucose is has very high levels in the blood. I think that it isn't very affected, but it is because people with this disease are have more probabilities to get infected because to get infected because their defenses are low and also they have difficulties to go for their medication. Okay, baby. So that's it. Thank you. I like your presentation because you have explanations. I love this kind of gifts because they are so sweet. Um, and your speaking, it was really nice too. So it was a really good work. I can't find really, I mean, I was reading even the ones that we didn't talk about it, and you have a good uh, use of grammar, so it's uh, it's really well done. Maybe sometimes you can uh, avoid like the fact to have these empty spaces.
because uh, I'm, for example, like this, you have like a point to begin, something like that. But it, those are like really small things. So it was a really good job, Sarita. So then, congrats, baby. We are going to continue with Vale. So Vale, please be ready while I upload Sarita's grade. Let me check if I have something in the chat. So no. Vale, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's open it. Go ahead, baby. T-shirt is in the Ah, sí, sí, sí. Yes, this is yours. Uh, my top 10 of the diseases. Disease. Uh, Actually, it's in plural because okay. these are also diseases. Diseases. So be careful with the writing of that word. Bueno, sí. Go. Oops. Uh, the first is the flu. Uh, the flu is the most common disease in the world. And the flu is a virus which is spread very quickly. The person for the disease are spending a lot of time in the cold or um, some, uh, some people hit you. Uh, the symptoms are body pain, a lot of mucus, sore throats, and lace and red nose. Hey. Pepperman, okay, how did you say? Pepper? I explain you. How did you say mocos? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Mm -hmm. So let's continue. Um, the headache, uh, the cause is um, lack of sleep, incorrect magnification of the glasses, exposed to loud sound, stress, hold the neck in the abnormal urgent, and the cure is ibuprofen, stay in a quiet place. Now in your words, uh, so yes, headaches. Do you think that headaches are uh, affected by the arrival of coronavirus? Please, please try to avoid reading these slides. I want you to speak in. To speak, so. So, do you think that headaches are being affected by the arrival of coronavirus? They are. Uh, I don't think so because. Excuse me. A moment. Okay. Uh, I don't think so because um, the coronavirus is like flu. Something like that. Okay, so no affect it at all. Yes. Let's continue. Uh, the cancer. Um, the cancer is a design with pathology. Mm -hmm. And don't have cure is the chemotherapy is the treatment. Treatment. Uh, treatment, yes. So, do you think that this was affected with the coronavirus, baby? Oh, no. Why not? Well, uh, sorry, the people who have this, this design is... This is? Full, vulner, vul vulnerable. <laughs> vulnerable, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maria, are you ready to present or no? Yes. So please continue in a serious way. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. And um, these people is vulnerable because he's sick and they have the, the um, how do you say in English, teacher? The I oh, know, sorry, defense is down. Okay, let's continue. Sorry. Stomach ache. We are going to jump to this one because we have enough information about stomach aches. Let's okay. talk about diabetes. Uh, the diabetes, diabetes, uh, the okay, uh, design with relation with the sugar in the blood. And okay. uh, don't have cord. The treatment is insulin injection. 
and so is it related or affected with coronavirus or not? Um, and the same that uh, the cancer is population vulnerable uh, population. Population, okay. Anorexia? Uh, yes, they are in the symptom symptoms of the anorexia is relation with the emotion of the person they they think are fat or have an ugly body because they feeling bad and these people uh, stop uh, stop eating and um, we have okay they have a very problem with the nutrition and something like that and are so skinny. Okay, we are really skinny. Let's yeah. go with this one. <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh, it, uh, um, a design design um, in the muscle, sorry, muscle and the bones in the knees. Uh, don't have cool, but we they have a series. Okay, be really careful with the writing of this word because it's not like this one, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think that arthritis has been affected with the coronavirus? Is it affected or not? Mm, depends because the um, Can you please repeat that? Um, <laughs> What's going on? Give me one second, because I don't know. Sophie, yes. thank you, Sophie. So, uh, Bali, I'm sorry, please continue and tell me, do you think that is affected? Uh, the, the surgery in this moment is so dangerous because uh, the doctors open and expose you the, the blood and things like that. Okay. Oh, this is really important. And no one will talk about it. Tell me. Desnutrition um, is a dis no, it's a design. It's like condition when the people don't eat very good, and uh, they these people they have very problems with the mobility and and the and. Sorry, and don't move low. What did you want to say? They are, yes, of course, they have a lot of problems because they can't eat enough, and not because Sorry. they want it, but because they don't have food or something like that. Uh, they have low defenses because they don't eat in a, a good way. Do you think that with the arrival of coronavirus, these people with, actually it's not desnutrition, but malnutrition, uh, are being affected? Vale. Uh, yes, because they have a um, um, uh, indefense body because they don't have the, how do you say it, sufficient? Enough. Enough, enough nutrient. Okay, so yes, they don't have how to fight the virus. Yes. And let's talk about bulimia. Uh, the bulimia is a, is a mental illness and it's something like that, that the anorexia is, um, they think the, they feel the, your, your body is, uh, ugly and feel ugly and the they eat the food but if they want the food they chew up the food yes do you think that coronavirus is affecting this or not really yes because yes o sea, they eat but don't process the the food and don't have nutrition. 
So they can die if they have coronavirus? Yes. Okay, baby. Uh, well, Vale, you have to uh, improve some things. I mean, it was a good job. You have to improve some things with your pronunciation, your vocabulary. You have to be really careful with the way that you are creating slides. Because, for example, mistakes like this one, this nutrition is not... This is like malnutrition. Also, the one with the arthritis is not in this way. So you have to be really careful with things like this one. Because it's a presentation, okay, baby? So that's my suggestion. I guess that you can organize your slides in a in a better way in order to make it more attractive, more catching. For example, if you are talking about cancer, it should be like not in this place but in the middle or on top or something like that. So just be careful with the way that you are creating slides and be careful with the way that you are writing some things, okay? Uh, so today you have 8.7, okay, darling? Okay, vale. Okay, teacher. Questions about it? Or no questions? No. Let me change the color because I had black. Okay. So we are going, I have like Pipe and Lucas. So are you ready, Pipe? Yes. It's the second one, right? Yes. Yes, the connection today is interesting. It's really bad. I know. Well, go ahead, baby. Yes. Uh, today I don't do like a top. I do like a list, okay? Okay. I did, because it's in past. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, uh, the the illness that uh, today I will going to explain is like a B A H A V coat high fever allergy chicken pox flu lung pain anxiety uh, anxiety anxiety asthma, anxiety asthma and depression. Okay, let's go with the first uh, I start one. with H I V. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's a um, sexual transmission uh, disease, and uh, can be uh, like contagiarse or contagion uh, for fluids, corporal fluids. Okay. Uh, uh, I think that no can be affected by COVID. Uh, because the the defense of the body is slow. Okay, so and people the, can die. Yes, and the the COVID is a, a virus uh, very strong. Okay. The next is cold. Uh, a cold is a disease in the lungs. Uh, that affect the respiratory system and consists in in virus and bacteria or bacteria that uh, was uh, introduced in the in the like walls the pulmon the, the, the lungs <laughs> okay. sorry okay uh, and uh, make the coat it's like um like like uh, your lungs was being uh, infected. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I okay. think that the only uh, thing that will be related is to that the people confuse uh, the the two diseases like COVID and COVID. Okay. Sorry, uh, so let's continue with fever. Okay. The high fever is a, an illness or a disease that affects your uh, immunologic system 
uh, and produce uh, if you have a headache, headache, uh, high temperate headache, high temperature, and a uh, like you feel like slow and but uh, and I think that a uh, um, that happens similar to the coat that only confuse the the this the, the two disease and if you for example have have high fever the older person think that you have uh, the COVID nineteen. Okay, let's go with the next one. We are going to jump allergies. Uh, let's talk about chicken pox. Yes. Okay. Uh, the chicken pox is a disease that uh, affect the, the like the skin in the in the people and uh, make a, a little red point uh, in the in the skin. Um, is for a, a virus that uh, could you say entra? Uh, go into go into the the immunological immunological system and uh, make like a, a confusion with the white globules and the red globules and uh, make these uh, little red points. And I think that they uh, don't relate, really. Don't relate uh, with the COVID nineteen. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's jump flu. Let me read really fast what you wrote. Okay. Lung pain. What about this lung pain? Uh, lung pain uh, can be related with coat, but it can be uh, be other thing, one other uh, disease. For example, in this, uh, um, how do you say like, uh, um, como el, bueno, la, como la ficha bibliográfica que está ahí, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say? What do you want to say? Ficha bibliográfica? Sí. No, o sea, eh, ¿cómo te explico? <ríe> y ahora se me fue la palabra. English, eh, eh, the explanation, like the image. Viñeta. The... Like a viñeta, sí. You want to say viñeta? Do you want me to tell you how to say viñeta? <coughs> yes. Ballet point. Ok, ballet point. Uh, because uh, the lung pain can be uh, can be due uh, because the the you broken uh, one of uh, the what do you say Vena? The say force, that? creo. Okay. Who do you say Vena? Uh, uh, because a uh, uh, a bad force. Uh, and can be cold, and I think the the same that cold and and flu and high fever that is only a confused that uh, the people think that you only in this moment only have the the virus, the coronavirus, and yes. you can. So people believe that everything today is coronavirus. Yes, that's yes. what you are trying to say. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, let's jump on anxiety because we know it. So let me read really fast the things that you wrote. Dun, 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 dun. And asthma too. Tell me something about depression, please. Okay. Depression is a mental illness. It's like a disorder, mental disorder. Uh, and can be uh, appear when you... Uh, Stay all of, all time alone, or don't uh, make like um, social interaction. Social interaction. Um, social interaction. 
uh, I think that can be related with the COVID-19 uh, because the, the locked, locked, how do you say, encierro? Locked, yes, being locked, locked is hard. Uh, made, uh, make this, this sentence and, and you can be, have depression in a future if you uh, stay more time uh, alone. Okay, and that's it. Okay, baby, um, I like the fact that you are have an explanation. I mean, the first part of your slides is an explanation. You have mm -hmm. the mental... Light is la palabra. Uh, ah, diapositiva. Like that's what, that's sí. what we were trying to say, slides, yes. <laughs> so, you have a good, uh, I mean, you have order because I can see, I can notice since I opened this slide, I know that you are going to talk about, for example, depression. You have the explanation, you have the relation with COVID-19, that, that is like the things that I request. Um, you use different colors, of course, you have just like this black background, but you try to use different colors in the in this light, so it was nice, maybe. You can try to make it a bit happier next time, but it, it's okay, okay? Uh, you were speaking, it was like nice too, you have some issues with some uh grammar structures that we have to improve a little bit more but as i told to everyone this is a process uh you have been improving a lot and you are going to continue doing it because you can do it and you are great uh but due to those things today you are going to have 9.5 okay okay dear so do you have any questions okay, about thank it you. and let's go with lucas and that's it because we have to begin with the step two. Oh my god what happened okay that's it. Give me one second while I do it. Lucas, uh, are you ready, dear? It is. So let me open it, and while this is open, I'm going to check the chat because I listen the the bell of the chat. Okay, so internet connection. Yes, I don't know what's happening today with our inter internet connections, but. Oh, I like this color. Go ahead, Lucas, attack. Um, my presentation is uh, like uh, 10 uh, common diseases, diseases and his symptoms and uh, what, uh, how COVID-19 uh, affects. Okay. The first is flu. Uh, the the symptoms are a uh, cough, a uh, sore throat, a uh, runny or stuffy nose, a a a ache in some parts of your body, headache and fatigue. What is the meaning uh, of a stuffy nose? Uh, affect the flu because it has a. Uh, what is the meaning of a stuffy nose? No. What is the meaning of a stuffy nose? A. Uh, According to Google, it's como na nariz tapa como congestion, okay? That's it, congestion nasal. Okay, let's continue. So how COVID affects flu? The COVID. The COVID nineteen affect the flu very much because it has a similar symptoms. So probably uh, so, uh, someone that uh, have a common flu uh, will think that he has a uh, he have uh, he catch a uh, COVID nineteen. Okay. Uy, tetanus. No one mm -hmm. has talked about it. Tell uh, me about it. Tetanus. His his symptoms are uh, fever, sweating, wait, sweating, high blood pressure, and um, spams. Uh, and the COVID nineteen affect uh, the tetanus uh, in the because uh, the hospitals uh, have a lot of people with uh, COVID nineteen. So if someone uh, with tetanus uh, go to a hospital, probably uh, will have a bad bank assistance. Okay. okay. I think. Malaria. Malaria. His symptoms are chills, fatigue fever, nausea or vomiting, confusion, and headache. 
Uh, the COVID-19 affects a lot of uh, malaria because in, actually uh, we are in quarantine and the malaria uh, is transmitted by uh, mosquitoes. So uh, if we can, if we stay at home, we can uh, catch malaria. Okay, we are going to jump fever because we fever. know it, but let me read it really fast. Um, okay, let's go with cholera. Uh, cholera, uh, his symptoms are uh, nausea, vomiting, the dehydration, abdominal pain, and also diarrhea, but it's very difficult to pronounce it in English. Okay, diarrhea. And... <laughs> Uh, the COVID-19 doesn't affect all of the cholera because this is transmitted by the consumption of uh, dirty water. So, and also it doesn't have similar symptoms. So I think that it doesn't affect a lot. The okay. Autism. 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 His, his symptoms are uh, anxiety. 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 But social skills, yes. a difficulty to communicate and a voice change. Also, uh, with autism, uh, I think that also doesn't affect a lot the uh, the COVID nineteen because uh, the people with autism uh, doesn't have a uh, good uh, social skills. So I think that uh, they doesn't affect. I'll do to stay at home or things like that. Okay. Okay, attention, yeah, attention deficit. deficit. His symptoms are impulsiveness, discrimination, or aggression, if, if, that they forget things also, okay. a difficulty to be a focus, boredom, and hyperactivity. A, also, I think that uh, the COVID-19 uh, affects uh, a lot the, this deficit because uh, people uh, with symptoms like hyperactivity or <laughs> impulsive, impulsiveness, I think that it uh, will be crazy if he have to stay at home all the time. Okay. Yes, they could go crazy. And this is affecting to, for example, at the school, if you have a deficit of attention, and you have to be like the entire day in front of the computer doing almost like the same. I mean, not the same in all the classes, but you have to stay in one position in front of a computer the entire day. That will be really awful. Uh, stress. We are going to jump stress because we got it. So let me read it really fast. Okay. Dingy too because we had it and that's uh, it. We, oh, you didn't roll anything. Dale la Dale the next one? Oh, okay, the next one. So, uh, Dingy. His symptoms are nausea, vomiting, a chills, fatigue, a fever, headache, and sore throat. Also, a Dingy, like a malaria, is transmitted by some type, by some type of mosquitoes. And how we are in quarantine. Uh, there will be less deaths and less infected by dengue. By dengue. Mm. Okay, Lucas, thank you very much. Well, baby, um, you have to be careful with some aspects of your pronunciation and with some grammar, grammar things like people is or something like that. I like the colors of the slides because I am able to read it and I don't have my eyes like tired. So the colors are really nice or catching colors. But you have to be careful, for example, with the spaces that you are giving me here. Because this is not like on one side, on the other side, you don't have li like lines. Maybe you could create a, a box, like a, a table or something like that. A box in order to include this and to have it uh, a bit more organized. But it was okay. Okay? So just take this, those suggestions into account when you create presentations, things like okay. this one. So you have... Uh, sorry. Nauseous here, but vomiting is like a bit move. So please be careful with those kind of things because that is going to affect it. But in general terms, it was nice. As I told you, just some things with grammar aspects, with pronunciation, but we are going to keep working on that. This is a process and you are doing it good, but we are going to keep working. So today you have 9.2 in your presentation. Okay, dear?
Do you have questions, Lucas? Okay. So, 9.2, darling. Um, That's no. it. Well, guys, for everyone, um, I know that some of you are missing by the presentations. Uh, but it's especially because of... Let me check if someone maybe upload something else. It is especially because of some issues. So, give me one second, guys, while I check it. The chat. Because I listen it. So, my dears, we are going to stop right now. I am going to stop sharing my screen with you. And in the case of Alejo, Alejo, are you there, baby? I can see him. Where is he? He left the call. Okay. So, we are going to stop right now, guys, because uh, now we are going to begin with the step number two of our final project. Okay? I don't know if you have questions up to this point of all the things that we have done, of the top tens or something like that. Don't forget, guys, that for your final uh, product, that is the sketch, you can take into account the diseases that you wrote in your top tens. Yes, you can maybe use one of these diseases to create your sketch and to present how a person can be affected in quarantine or how a person is healthy or how a person is not healthy at all. So you can use uh, some inspiration from these top things that you created. Okay? Questions up to this point, guys? Well, babies, so I am going to... Uh, I am going to stop the class, like, one minute. Give me one second while I open the explanation of... that is in the forum, of course, of the second step of our final project. And uh, I am going to share it with you, but I am going to change, I am going to stop sharing, I am going to stop recording the class right now because this is going to be the recording of the past hour and I am going to upload to the YouTube channel just the explanation of the second step of the final project in order to, to let it open for you. If you have doubts, if you want to check it again, you can go there and you can check it. 